What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a great one for you guys today. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded, but I've had uh, been a little preoccupied um, with school and stuff going on and um, video games. <laughs> so um, today we're going to be uh, talking about the intro to Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Absolute classic. Um, love this song love this band again all the rights go to metallica uh to this song but yeah i figured i'd share how to play the intro with you guys because it took me a while to really master it but um and even now i would say i don't even have it fully mastered but it's a, it's a great tune to play for your friends and uh yeah let's get into it Alrighty, so let's get into this so for the first step i'd say to learning this is to get comfortable with this little riff that everybody knows so I think you should be able to be able to have a conversation and be able to play this because while you're doing like all the, the licks and stuff the underlying little melody that Kirk plays um, is, is this so once you got that down you're ready to begin the first part of this is a little easier than the second part um, so you're going to play this four times, and on the fourth time, you're going to hit that open E like you would for the other four times, and then you go back down to the B, so, and then that's when you play on the, uh, the ninth fret of the high E, or seventh fret, sorry. So... And then that second hit of the E, you're also adding the low E in there as well. So after those two hits, you go to BG. And then after that BG, you do, you're going to do a pull-off on that 7th fret. So. After the pull off, you just hit BG again. So, so high E B G pull off B G, and then after the uh, pull of uh, the B G, you're just gonna do uh, uh, another low E and high E. And then another B G after that. So. Or, uh, on that one, you only do B. Sorry, after the, the high E and the low E, when you pinch those together, you're just hitting B. And then that's when we're going to do the little lick down the, the neck of the guitar. So you're going to go 7th fret on the E string to the high E. And then you're going to do a hammer on, hammer off. So... All the way down to the fifth fret, then back with the to the seventh fret, so the whole lick is seven, eight, hammer on, five, seven, slide in. Sorry, that was wrong. You finish with the open E there. So seven, alrighty. So from there, after that, you're the after the high E, you're gonna take your pinky and your ring finger. I'm gonna put them on the fifth fret of the B and G. Should get this sound. So after that high E, you're gonna land your fingers there and play the B and A string. So. And 
then from there you're gonna do a little walk up to the G, B, and E. Except when you play the E string, you're gonna really stretch this pointer finger to the second fret of the E and you're gonna do a pull off. So. And then you're gonna do B, G coming back up. And then from there, you're going to hit that B and um, uh, G, you're going to pinch the B and G again, or A and B, sorry. And then you're going to walk right back up, except you're not going to do the pull off this time, you're just going to hit an open E. So. And then from there, you're going to take that same pointer finger and you're going to stretch it to the second fret of the A string. Or, sorry, that was incorrect. You're going to, after that high E, you're going to pinch the A string, B, and the E, just like that. And then you're going to put your pointer finger on the second fret of the A. And then move it down to the third fret. Put that all together. Sweet. So that's uh, that's kind of the first part. So this is what we got so far. gets a little tricky but if you slow it down it, it becomes a lot easier so when you get to this position here you're gonna play this a string again so you're gonna go a g b g and then you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna put it on the third fret of the high e and you're gonna do another pull off so And after that pull off, you're gonna hit B, G. And then from there, you're gonna hit, you're gonna put that uh, first finger down on the A string again on the third fret. And then you're gonna pluck all three strings again, but this time you're gonna be moving it up to the fourth or the fifth and seventh fret. So you put that all together. And then from here, you're gonna kinda do something similar. You're gonna hit that A string again. So A, G, B, G. And then from here, you're gonna do a little uh, hammer on. You're gonna take your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the E. You're gonna do a hammer off. I like to do it. Then you're gonna go to the seventh fret of the B. And back to the fifth fret of the B. So. So when you put that all together. And then to finish this section, you just bring your finger down to the uh, 12th fret, right on the fret, right on the fret bar there, and you're gonna play the harmonics. So if you put that all together.
right, now that that, uh, that first part's out of the way, um, we can move on to the second part. So after you do the harmonics here, you do this again for a couple of times. I don't know how many it is exactly, I think maybe four. And then you're gonna take this position here. You're gonna put your pointer finger on the uh, seventh fret of the A, and then your pinky and ring finger on the uh, ninth fret of the D and G, and then your middle finger on the, uh, uh, the eighth fret of the B. get that cool sounding chord there and then you're gonna play your E here and you're gonna go right down the line and then from here you're gonna slide your pointer finger back a whole step to the fifth fret and then you can play this three two ways some people play it like this where they keep their pointer finger on that seventh fret or that fifth fret and then they take their three fingers and kind of make an A major chord shape on the seventh fret. So you play those. So you play the seventh fret, the A. Or you can kind of bar the three notes here. This is what how I play it. And then you just take whatever shape you choose, you just move it down a whole step. So you repeat that. So you're gonna do that whole thing twice. And then on the third time, you play this normally. Play that normally. And then on the third time, you're going to make the same shape, except you're going to do it kind of in reverse order. So you're going to hit that A. Oops. So you're playing the A, and then the B, and then the D and then the G and B. Then you move down a whole step and do the same thing. And then from there, you're going back to that original shape that we had, with your pointer finger on the third fret of the E this time, and then your uh, ring and pinky finger on the fifth fret of the the B or the D and A, and then your middle finger on the uh, fourth fret of the D or the D or the G. Sorry. So then you hit the uh, E string, and then the A, and then you pinch the D and G. Then from there, you go back to that other position. You move your pointer finger up a half step to the second fret of the A, and then you're, uh, then you either choosing whatever position you want. I'm hitting, or I'm barring down the, the the fourth fret of the the D, G, and B, and then so you put that together. This one's a little tricky, but play it one more time for you. And then you just go right into this. So yeah, I'll play that for you one time through, but yeah, that's the whole thing.
Alrighty guys, so that's basically how you play the uh, the whole intro. Uh, hopefully um, I didn't uh, make it too confusing and hopefully I helped you out a little bit. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure there will be another guitar tutorial in the future if I decide to, if I learn something cool. So uh, yeah, I hope this helps and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.